students good morning so in the previous class we studied how digestion takes place in grass eating animals and also digestion takes place in amoeba that is single cellular organisms yes so in that one we studied the concept of pseudopodia cellulose vacuoles ruminants cup giving animals so on so on. and also we watched the video that related to how digestion takes place and how food captured by amoeba so i told that in the next class i will show the video how the grass eating animals digested their food is edinal ba for that reason today i will show video related to that and next we shall discuss the exercise that in what they given fill in the blanks match the following true or false and so on okay okay students yes come let's watch the video which animals eat their food a cow is an herbivore this is the herbivore it eats plants they eating grasses do you know how a cow eats plants let me tell you how it eats plants students mm, a cow has a set of sharp teeth these are sharp in teeth. front of its lower jaw lower jaw letter okay while eating plants mm. it quickly bites them with its sharp teeth cut more come to kit come to bega the cow takes small bites at a time it is called nibbling nibbling bega bega tinta process ke nibbling so a cow first nibbles its food with the help of its sharp front teeth and swallows it you all first But chew no your thing. food well and then swallow it no, don't no, you jagad no muti balwa yes but a cow swallows its food directly without chewing students you have only one compartment in your stomachs have only one compartment but the stomach of a cow has four one, compartments two three last one is among four. these four compartments the first compartment is the largest largest compartment this is the first all the unchewed grass gets collected yes, in this first grass. chamber collected here a cow may also swallow unnecessary things like iron nails small pieces of wire or even stones when it swallows grasses these things also get collected in the first chamber of the stomach undigested in the way plus later while the cow is taking rest mm. it brings the swallowed food back to its mouth along with the unnecessary things like iron nails wires and stones in this process the food along with the mm-hmm. iron nails wires and stones from the first chamber enter the second chamber before reaching the mouth unnecessary things like iron nails wires and stones are heavier than grasses so they get collected in the second chamber only the grass reach the mouth so illi collect at the iron nails are waste to plastic or the swallowed grass brought back to the mouth is called cud mm. the cow chews the cud properly with the help of its strong flat teeth strong at the back teeth. of its mouth 
that is called chewing of cud. The cow then swallows the chewed cud. The chewed cud passes through the third chamber and reaches the fourth chamber of the stomach. The fourth chamber of the stomach of a cow is like human stomach. Cow gets necessary nutrients from the food from the fourth chamber of the stomach. Animals that chew the cud are called cud chewing animals. Not only cow, herbivores like the buffalo, the horse, the goat, the sheep, the deer, and the giraffe also first swallow the food without chewing them. Later, they bring the swallowed food back to their mouth and chew the cud well and then again swallow it. So, herbivores like a buffalo, a horse, a goat, a sheep, a deer and a giraffe are all cud chewing animals. Yes, I have understood dear students. Yes, are you enjoyed with that video? Yes. So that is the video. So in that one they showed that number of four chambers will be there in that cut chewing animals. First chamber the directly entered to the what they take and swallow quickly that is entered to the first chamber and iron eyes, plastics and wires also enters and then those undigested food that is iron eyes, plastic wire and so on they enter to the second chamber from second chamber and grass will once again go back to their mouth and then completely they will chew that goes to third chamber and then that goes to stomach and as usual the absorption of nutrition takes place in that area they, they showed that one so next we shall discuss the fill in the blanks match the following true or false what they given in your textbook yes dear students fill in the blanks first they are given fill in the blanks so here they are given question here the question along with answer will be there the main step of nutrition in humans are so what are the main steps means it's important first is ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and digestion these are the main step of nutrition in humans one two three four you should write the question and answer next the largest gland in the human body is liver not the longest largest the stomach releases hydrochloric acid and digestive juice which act as or which act on food so in the stomach in the stomach there is a releasing of hydrochloric acid and also digestive juices in case for the digestion of food next the inner wall of the small intestine has many finger like outgrowths called villi torsidini nimma kai viralli tara irthavu the inner wall of the small intestine has fingers like outgrowth called villi amoeba digests its food in the food vacuole what food will be absorbed by pseudopodia yes alva this is the question number first and this is the answer for that so these are all fill in the blanks then please so you should write directly fill in the blanks and question answer for this and second question mark t if the statement is true and if the statement is false 
first stage they give a digestion of starch starts in the stomach bro illadi previous time stomach aadmel baradalu enide bro that is false the tongue helps in mixing food with saliva as saliva that will be help for the mixing of food that also easy to swallow the food next the gall bladder temporarily stored by alva temporary yen by juice secret agide that will be stored in gall bladder so that's a true the ruminants bring back swallowed grass into their mouth and chew it for some time so all ready to alva video to first chamber to our first stomach to second stomach and then bring that back to their mouth banda chew madutalva Hmm. Okay, that is true. This is the second question. That is make true if that statement is true and if if the statement is false. Next, third one. Tick right mark. The correct answer in each of the following. So, fat is completely digested in the yes, stomach. B mouth. small intestine and large intestine so stomach only juice will be secreted and hydrochloric acid also secreted as well yes hmm. mouth salivary juice saliva through the salivary gland saliva juice will be secreted hmm. large intestine over there will be an only absorption of water and sugar so last remaining will be the small intestine so answer is small intestine Water from the undigested food is absorbed mainly in the uh, in the large intestine. You know, correct. This is the third question. Question number third, and that is you should write these questions. And so, first question answer for that. Second question and answer for that. Next, match the item of column one with those given in column second. Column one. And column second, column one, food components, carbohydrates, proteins, fats. Column two, products of digestion, fatty acids, glycerol, sugar, amino acid. We should match these two. And then, you know, on this is very easy. This is not on this is very big. But they give only the wrong manner. Okay, okay, check mark. So answer. Com carbohydrates, sugar. So small intestinally in pancreas are lagged there. Pancreatic juice present there. Proteins, amino acids, fats, fatty acids, and glycerols. This is a small intestinally lagged there. Okay. So this is the answer. Next third question. After the third question, next fourth question. Next is fifth one. Fifth question. What are will I? What is their location and function? The inner walls of the small intestine have thousands of finger-like outgrowths. See, there are so many that are called. Those are called villi. That are called. The villi increases the surface area in a way for absorption of the digested or digested food. Each villi has a network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface. The surface of the villi absorbs the digested food material. So, what is the meaning of villi? Small finger-like structure, or small intestine, outer surface of villi that helps to absorption of digested food material. Sixth question: Where is the bile produced? Which component of the food does it helps to digest? So, bile is produced in liver. Liver is the largest gland in human body. So, it is secreted by By juice that is stored in a healthy sac called the gallbladder. What is the help of this means? The bile helps in the digestion of fats. Next. Name the type of carbohydrates that can be digested by ruminants, but not by humans. Give the reason also. Could be because so in generally grass contains cellulose. Alwa. That can you must can't able to digest that one. Cellulose can be digested by ruminants, but not by humans because 
Ruminants have a large sac like structure called rumen between the esophagus and the small intestine. The cellulose of the food is digested here by the action of certain bacteria which are not present in humans. Humans are the bacteria food digestion and help. Why do we get instant energy from glucose? Glucose like glucose. In the cell, glucose breaks down with the help of oxygen into what? Carbon dioxide and water. And energy is released. So carbon dioxide and water are released. Then we will get an energy from glucose. And ninth one. Which part of the digestive canal is involved in a absorption of food? Chewing of food, killing of bacteria, complete digestion of food. Formation of phases. No, no, first one. Absorption of food, small intestine. First process. Achieving of food, buccal cavity. Mouth analysis. Killing of bacteria, stomachal. So that is pancreatic juice. And by this. Complete digestion of food, small intestine. Yes. Formation of phases, large intestine. So these are the questions and these are the answers for ninth one. So, ninth one is the fill in the blanks. And the given tenth one, the right one similarities and difference between the nutrition in amoeba and human beings, they are given. So, you should write these are all things. Okay. So, first point is over here. Next, eleventh one. Match the item of column one with suitable item in column second. Column one, salivary gland, hondi sibarei. Pratalva S. Salivary gland, stomach, liver, rectum, small intestine, large intestine. So we should match. So what there will be a releasing or what is the reaction takes place or what will be there. So salivary gland that will be helping. We are given answer. Saliva secretion. Anything juice and a secret mode. Stomach. Acid releases. Hydrochloric acid and some other acids. Liver, bile juice secretion, rectum, releasing of feces, small intestine, digestion is completed, large intestine, absorption of water, and one more also storage of undigested food. Okay, next we shall move on to that 12th month. Label figure two part of the digestive system. You know, a part of human digestive system. With that, you know, small intestine, large intestine, which is the stomach, which is the uh, liver, which is the pancreas. We should label here. Okay. Yes. Label model. Now, let us see. Label part. This is the liver, gallbladder, stomach, pancreas, small intestine. Large intestine, rectum, anus. Okay. Neat. You should write diagram neatly. Next question is 13th question. Can we survive only on raw leaf, vegetables, or grass? Discuss. But leaf, vegetables, and grass in the book click on the Discuss in the put together. Raw leaves, vegetables, and grasses are rich in cellulose. Don't forget this. Cellulose just here, you must can't able to digest that one. A type of carbohydrates, many animals, including humans, can't digest cellulose. Because they do not have enzymes and certain type of bacteria which can digest cellulose. So we cannot survive by taking vegetables in raw form. That's why we will boil or cook vegetables which breaks down cellulose into simpler, simple carbohydrates. So we can only survive by taking in vegetables in boiled or cooked form. So directly now, we should take um, uh, leaves, uh, green leaves or vegetables by cooked because there is a presence of cellulose. Due to the presence of that cellulose, Humans and so many animals can't able to digest their food. 
because there is an absence of certain enzymes and bacteria to digest the cellulose. Okay, these are the question and answer they given in your textbook. So, dear students, please complete the notes and maintain neatness. Okay, thank you, students. Happy day.